Hi, this is Miss D at thespecialthings.blogspot.com. I'm making some teeny tiny itty bitty mini book charms. Um, we're making them over at Mini Album Scraps. Oh, you guys, you got to make these. You have to come over. Um, so much fun. Join us. I'm going to show you exactly how I made mine. Um, there is, just so you know, Leah made a video already on mini album scraps so if you have problems making it you can also check her video out but i'm going to show you exactly how i came to putting mine together i took a piece of medium weight chipboard and i cut it in one inch strips okay and then i scored it at one inch all the way across this will make your book exactly one inch by one inch okay I took the this piece of strip board after I scored it and I cut the pieces down to one inch and these will make your covers then I took the one inch pieces and I used this scotch quick dry adhesive uh, because I made some Alter tickets for um, alter ticket swap just a few weeks ago and I found that if you use a lightweight chipboard and I specifically use this glue and I just take the pieces and glue them together you come up with this you actually get the same thickness it looks like this I don't know what this is chip it, it's like chip it's like board. It's like wood once you do it. It's like MDF board. But you get that thickness. And I actually got it doing this. And I took about four of them. And I glued them one on top of the other. And you actually get that thickness. But once they dry, they end up feeling like that heavy, heavy board. So then I took a piece of paper and I cut it at one and three quarters by one and three quarters and I glued this little piece of chipboard right in the middle then I took it so that you'll know exactly where to cut it I took it and I folded it down pinching each of the ends right I pinch each of the ends here Excuse my fingers because I've been playing with these little books all night. Okay, we're going to do the covers first. So, then I'll show you how to do the inside. And I just took each of the pieces, I mean each of the edges, and I folded it so that it would have a corner on each. Then I took and right across the fold, not on the corner, you have to make sure, you see, I have a little left on the corner, right you'll see the fold so if you cut right in the center of the fold you'll actually end up with this okay there you are all right <clears throat> and keep folding okay if you could crease on the edges because you're going to push push those in so you could actually push the edges in and then I took glue and I put it around each of the four edges like that okay I just put glue and I took the first one and I pushed it in and if you hold it it'll give you that little crease and I do crease the corner down so that you won't see your corners and I do it on both sides I just I try to fold in that little corner so you won't see it and fold it over this glue you can see it on my black some of the glue I try to wipe it off but sometimes I don't get it so well and then you push that little corner in make sure you push your little corner in and you end up with your covered um, your 
cover your book covers the back and the front you're going to do two for each of them um, and I have two right here okay so those are your covers so you can sit those aside now for the inserts for the pages what I do is I take a strip and I use a 9 by 12 sheet and this is a paper you know drawing paper you know that's in that little tablet I use these because uh, it's not too heavy it's flimsy enough now you take a one inch strip and you do the same thing you score it every one inch all the way across your strip if you want pockets what you do is you cut a one and a half inch and you score it and I use a 12 inch sheet here same difference and you score it at one inch all the way across but when you make it you score it at one inch all the way down so and then you fold this piece up so that when you fold it you actually get little pockets in each page can you see that little pockets and here's one I made for me and as you can see I'll take one of these pieces here I'll take a piece of paper as you can see you now have pockets for each of these so you can actually make mats stick them in your little book your little book really becomes functional then as you can see okay and you do that by cutting it at one and a half scoring it at one inch all the way down and you fold it over when you put it together okay a thing that I actually learned about doing these is do everything up front so that when you put the book together you're finally finished and when I say everything I mean like you can stamp your pages uh, if you want it ink you can go ahead and ink your edges and what I do when I put mine together because everything this is one inch you're going to use the ends of them for the covers in your book so what you do is after you fold it you take a three quarter by three quarter strip and you cut it and you're going to put it inside that tab on either side you're just going to put it inside that tab right there. Okay. You see that? Alright. And then you take a, after you do all that, you take a piece of ribbon and you tie it around the entire thing. Your, your book is going to come out exactly one inch if you do it like this. All the way around. And there you go with your pages and whatever. I sit and I make a bunch of these and I make a bunch of the covers. And then, okay, once you do all that, you simply take your cover, and I'm going to work with the glue side, with the, um, what you call side. You got to make sure they're upright, I mean, they're the right way. And you glue, you put glue on your cover, I probably put a bit much, and you take it, and you just lay it on your page, I mean, on your cover, like that. So there you have your front cover and then you take the other one and you glue this side and you have your other cover and there are your two covers exactly one inch you actually have all together all right okay now make these ahead of time too this this is exactly a one and one eighth piece of is one by one and one eighth and what I do is if you take your score pad and you count the click marks these to me I call them click marks they're your one eighth score thing every one eight you count three one two three you score one two three you score one two three you score you're gonna cut that out and you're gonna fold it on the score lines you're gonna take your eyelet you're gonna put it in in there 
and <laughs> you can sit all day long and just make these things as easy as you I mean as fast as you possibly want then you're going to take your glue and you're going to put it here and you're going to sit this in the middle and glue that on just line it up and glue it on and take the other side put some glue on it I never do a tutorial so I never show people how I work I do the you know I don't know I just go at it I just never do a tutorial but I guess this in a sense is a tutorial and now what you can do is once you put that on you let it dry and then you could put your little eyelid in mind you these because you use I use these 1 8 inch eyelets they're really really small but what you can do before you adhere this to your little book I'm trying to do it fast so that I won't this won't be a long video you actually take this and you could put it right in there close it up and then when you glue it on you actually have the eyelet already on it and once you open your book up you have the inside cover you have all your pages are already marked <laughs> they're already uh, done the way you want them and you have your little book I love it because it is a true hardbound book you decorate your front I found out that <laughs> I haven't I have little teeny eeny weeny embellishments I just didn't look for them because I was so excited about doing this I just went ahead and did it but um and for this one right here remember the one you did same difference except for you have pockets there you have itty bitty pockets and when I say interactive I mean I'm not just talking the pages folding I'm talking totally functional where you can actually put stuff in the book and there you are it's almost like a one stepper once you get all the parts and pieces together um, I found that the hardest thing about this was and it's not hard it was just time consuming making the little chipboard covers and that's it for these little uh, teeny tiny itty bitty mini book charms these are so cute and they come in handy you could put them on your charms you could put them on your minis you can do you can actually use them for anything you can put them in your little curio boxes you can do so much with these I like itty bitty I don't know why but that's always been <laughs> a thrill to me if it's if it looks nice big it'll look even nicer teeny <laughs> I don't know why I think that but I do but there you are very easy nothing complicated put this stuff together um, just put all your stuff together and you know cut all your little strips and you know plan ahead sit down and just start gluing and there you go all right ladies and gents uh, thanks for watching and come join us at mini album scraps these are so much fun. I mean, so much fun. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, and this is Miss D at dspecialthings.blogspot.com. Come over and join us at Mini Album Scraps. Oh, yes. I forgot to say. We are doing this in the embellishment swap. So, yeah, these do, um, they will serve as embellishments. So, if you come over, and you have to excuse my hands because they're an awful mess. If you come over, click on uh, embellishments um, over in the swaps uh, group. And, yeah, let us see what you can do with them. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.